deep in Oz, Dorothy is following the road to the Emerald City with her companions. Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion. They just can't wait to see the wizard. Come on, hurry up! road is endless. I hope we get there soon. Oh, well, mustn't give up. Oh, I'm so excited about meeting a wizard, aren't you? Oh, yes. If I had a heart, you'd hear it pounding, Lion. Oh. <sighs> oh, my, oh, my. <gasps> Dorothy, I think we have a problem. What is it, Dorothy? What's wrong? Look! <gasps> It sure ended in a hurry, didn't it? Scarecrow, be careful, you'll fall. Oh, and it's such a long way down. Oh, come back. Oh, stop yelling at me. You're making me nervous. Calm down while I step back from the edge. Oh. 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 But now what do we do? We don't have any road to follow. Will we have to go back the way we came? No, there must be a way across. Think maybe we could build a bridge, Dorothy? Build a bridge? Oh, that would take ages, Tin Man. Are you sure it's a heart you're missing and not a brain? Scarecrow, Tin Man was just trying to help. Be nice. If we talk about our ideas, maybe we'll come up with a solution. Lion, what do you think? My idea's too scary to tell you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What a dilemma. <laughs> Wish I were as strong as that eagle. Then I could fly across. Scarecrow, of course, that's a great idea. Dorothy, none of us can fly, you know that. True, Tin Man, but one of us can do the next best thing. Am I right, Lion? Oh, I know what you're thinking. Please don't ask me to be brave. Oh, oh we'll never get to meet the wizard at this rate. That's what I want to know. I can't fly, but I can put each of you up on my back and try to jump across. One at a time, of course, but I'm so very scared. You'll make it. I'm the lightest, so you should carry me first, Lion. Then you'll still have lots of strength left for the others, right? I hope so. Don't worry, Lion, you can do it. <laughs> They made it! <laughs> so far, so good. You're next, Dorothy. All aboard, Toto. Whoa. Whoa. Grab my mane and whatever you do, Dorothy, don't let go. No danger of that. Here we go. <laughs> Well done. Just me left, Lion. Whoa. Oh. oh, my goodness, Tin Man, you're awfully heavy, aren't you? Sorry. Say, everybody, now that we've made it to the other side, I've got a great idea. Let's move away from the edge. Are you all right? Aside from being scared out of my wits, I'm just fine. Could we join the others? Of course. I can't believe 
believe I did that. Scarecrow, come and sit with us. Yes. Hmm. No, thanks. If I get too close, you'll have a much bigger fire. But quite a lot less of me. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Lion? Uh -huh. Are you feeling better now? You must be exhausted after all that jumping. Well, I've had more restful days, I suppose. So have I. When we jumped that gorge, I thought we'd had it. I just think about it and I shiver all over. And I just had to jump at once, which is what puzzles me about you, Lion. Oh? Uh -huh. Well, you say you're a coward, but you had to jump back and forth over that gorge three times. That took more courage than I'd ever have. But you don't understand. I may have looked brave when I jumped across the gorge, but I sure didn't feel brave. I was terrified the whole time. That doesn't necessarily mean you're a coward. Oh, but I am, Dorothy. I am. I've never felt brave for even one second in my whole cowardly life. Oh, sure, when I lived in a forest, the other animals were afraid of me. But only because I had a loud and fierce roar. If a tiger or an elephant or a rhinoceros had picked a fight, I'm sure that I'd have put my tail between my legs and run. But none of them ever did, did they? So how can you know? I just feel it. You feel it? I wish I had something in here to feel things with, even if it was just fear. You're a lucky lion. Don't complain, Tin Man. At least you have a brain. Scarecrow, are you sure you don't have a brain? Oh, yes. Uh, I think. But you're always telling us what you think, and quite a lot of your ideas are good ones. But if you didn't have a brain, you wouldn't be able to think of anything. Nothing at all. Hmm, I think I... I mean, I have to disagree with you there, Dorothy. Thinking has nothing to do with it. You see, I don't think up my ideas. They just fall out of my head whenever they feel like it. If I had a brain, I could control them. <sighs> All I know is I can't keep up to you. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Good night. I hope you sleep well, Dorothy. I'll try not to have too many nightmares about that gorge. Oh. Since you and I don't really need to sleep, Tin Man, let's look for food. I bet the forest is full of good things for you and the others to eat. Come on, let's take a look. All right. Don't get lost, you two. Oh, don't worry, we won't, Lion. Think we have enough for everyone, Scarecrow? I'm sure we do. Let's start back. Lion and Dorothy must be awake by now. <gasps> Aren't these flowers pretty? And we both know just the person who'd love to have them. Good idea. Uh, did you sleep well, Dorothy? Yes. Rise and huh? shine. Look, we brought your breakfast in bed. And these. Flowers for me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I look? You look <laughs> wonderful, nice Dorothy. <laughs> Here, Lion, here's one for you. Oh, Lion, you look perfectly adorable. <laughs> you certainly do. <laughs> Cute as a kitten. Meow, 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 meow. I'm glad Dorothy's well rested and that she and her friends are in good spirits. Because this forest is no laughing matter. It's getting dimmer and grimmer with every step. Oh, the deeper we go into the forest, the darker and gloomier it gets. Huh? Lion? What is it? What's wrong? I just remember that this might be the part of the forest where the Kaleidas live. Oh. The Kaleidas? What are Kaleidas? Oh, Kaleidas are enormous beasts with the bodies of bears and the heads of tigers. The bodies of bears and the heads of tigers? Uh -huh. What a thoroughly unpleasant combination. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Was that a Kaleida? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, then let's get out of here.
Can't you walk any faster? We're trying. <gasps> oh no, not again. I can't jump this gorge, Dorothy. It's too wide. What do we do now? Well, I don't think turning back would be a very good idea. <laughs> a collider, and it's getting close. <laughs> we have to think of something. A plan, quick! <laughs> think! If you chopped down this tree so it fell across the gorge, would it reach the other side? Yes, I think it would, Scarecrow. That's an excellent idea. Dorothy, run across. We have no time to lose. Right! We're faster than you are. We're faster than you oh, are. Oh, no, no. Oh, we 
Scarecrow told me to do, Dorothy. It was all his idea for someone without a brain. You're pretty smart, Scarecrow. Yes, you are. Your quick thinking saved us. Hmm? My quick thinking? Don't be silly, Dorothy. No, I mean it. We all have brains, but we couldn't think of anything. We owe you our lives. I wouldn't go that far. Come now. It was your idea to chop down that tree, and when the colliders came, you thought of distracting them, and when they tried Dorothy, to chase wait. Them across... Those ideas just popped into my head. I didn't think of them. Scarecrow, you're being silly. That's what thinking is. Hmm? Oh, boy. I can't wait to get that brain. Then I'll understand what Dorothy's talking about. Huh? Hey, wait for me, everybody! <gasps> oh, how will we ever get across? Should be simple enough. Mm -hmm. Tin Man can just chop down some trees, and we'll make a raft out of them. Why, of course. What? Listen, I don't know. If I ever fell off the raft into the river, I'd rust horribly. But you'll have to cross the river sooner or later if you want to get to the Emerald City and see the wizard. Uh, I suppose you're right, Lion. It's a masterpiece. How long as it stays afloat, Scarecrow? <laughs> That's all I ask. Dorothy, take good care of my oil can, just in case. Okay. Uh, let's get this over with. Where's Lion? I'll get him. Lion, the raft's finished. We're ready to go. Lion, wake up. <laughs> Lion, come on. We're ready to go. Sorry, Dorothy. The thought of crossing that scary-looking river was so frightening, I fell asleep. You can fall asleep when you're frightened? Oh, yes. Being frightened as much as I am is tiring. Now, if we all sit very still, we shouldn't have any trouble. Cheer up, Tin Man. Here goes. And push. And push. And push. So far, so good. The river is calm and the yellow brick road's dead ahead. Almost there, folks. Oh, ah! The current's on here. I can't hold her. Hang on, folks. We're in for a rough ride. Oh, oh no. Huh? The bottom. I can't touch bottom anymore. We're drifting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trying, Dorothy, but oh! We're moving faster and faster! I'm not falling, I just know I am! No, 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 don't panic, Tin Man! Oh. We'll be just fine if I can just find the bottom! The yellow brick road! I can't even oh. see it anymore! Oh, we're doomed! Doomed, I tell you! Now, take, take it easy, Tin Man! Oh. I admit, things aren't going as planned, but we're not finished yet! Oh, don't tip over! Please don't tip over! I don't want to rust solid all over again! Don't worry, Tin Man. Your raft's much too sturdy to tip over, isn't it? Oh, if I only had courage. I'll never get a heart now. Never! I just know this isn't the way to Kansas. <laughs> They've lost control. And even if they do survive the river, they'll still have to get back to the yellow brick road. Whoa! 